everybody it's your girl the empress chanel coming at you with another video it's thursday so you know we're gonna get into these uh earth sign videos that's capricorn taurus virgo gotta see what y'all got going on this week okay Ooh, the virgo in me did that i don't know why <laughs> but um, so i'm gonna start off with akashic tarot um dear my most loving and highest vibrational angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, and totems. I ask that you clarify these messages from you through me. I ask that you cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration and everyone watching this in the whitest light from the highest vibration as I deliver this message. Gratitude. All right, I'm gonna start off with some Akashic Tarot for you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's see what y'all got going on. Okay, we got winter. This is the five of forces in reverse. So when it's this way, it's winter. When it's this way, it's summer. So winter. So this could be talking about something that happened last winter or something that's coming up this winter. Okay, on track. We got king of scrolls and we have the Buddha prepares. All right. So and then we have loving elementals here. Um, with her fairies and such and right behind that we have two worlds all right so I'm feeling more or less like someone who um, had some s some sort of awakening here um, last winter last winter is what I'm getting last winter okay um, like I said the Buddha prepares so this is about the, the Buddha is teaching um, others the Buddha is uh, preparing others to come uh, after him to carry on the teachings here all right the king of scrolls the king of scrolls he's got all those scrolls he's got the knowledge he knows what to do that type of deal kind of reminds me of the king of um swords a little bit you know he's very knowledgeable very intelligent um very calculated that type of thing okay um right on track okay but the guy right here he's on track but you see how he's looking back at those signs right there like i've got my ticket in my hand i know exactly what trade i want to get on i've got my bags but he's still looking back at the signs to kind of make sure that he's on track. All right, let's see. What does this mean with the Kipper? Okay. Okay, so winter, summer, we got a gift. Well, in the winter time, we got a gift. Child, okay. We got thoughts for the King of Scrolls. Like I said, King of Scrolls kind of reminds me of the King of Swords. We're going to break all of these down with the tarot. And we have the lovers here that wanted to come out in reverse, but I'm going to flip it and we're going to just read it both ways. All right. We have community card at the bottom of the deck with loving elementals. Let's get some tarot out here and really get into it. I'm going to put these right here up above. Yes, we got a gift, a child. Lovers and thoughts. All right. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Oh, okay. Capricorn, Taurus. Oh, with all these reversals. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I had to make sure my cards wasn't reversed. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mm. Okay, with the four swords at the bottom of the deck. All right, so what do we have here? We have justice in reverse. Um, so there could have been something... Um, like you could have a gift um here and someone either said or yes I, I feel like someone said something unjustifiable about that or did something unjustifiable with their gift here um in the winter time with the star card right here being in reverse because the star card in reverse is like unhealed energy that's um 
not going down the right path, that's not letting your ancestors lead the way, that's someone who's not in the spotlight as well. So, um, but then we have on track here. So like I said, on track, he's looking back. Like, he's like, am I doing the right thing? He's questioning whether or not he's on track doing the right thing, whether or not there is any equal give and take in this, in this uh, situation, or whether or not, um, he needs to continue to work on this with the um, Eight of Pentacles being in reverse. But I'm feeling like the Eight of Pentacles in reverse means that somebody doesn't even want to work on a situation, even if it does involve a child here, okay? They are thinking about it because of the child. Um, but it, it just, it seems like it's no equal give and take. There's too many unjustifiable acts or things um, that were said or done. Um, and just don't want to go down that road with someone who is unhealed, okay? We have the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. So that's not fulfilled, n you know, not wish fulfillment, okay? We maybe had thought here with the Thoughts card. You see how he's thinking about her? I mean, like heavy, like obsessively thinking about her. Has been painting her. Um, one plus six equals seven which in tarot numerology is reflection assessment just reflecting thinking about things with this person um with this lovers here like i said the lovers card wanted to come out in reverse um so it's like s someone that uh, fell out of love someone who does not want to be a part of this family anymore someone who understands that I need to be in a situation where there's equal give and take. Maybe they had this realization in the winter time, or maybe they're gearing up to make some sort of move here in the winter time. But with two tens being out here, usually I say that's bringing things into balance. But when one of them, when one of the numbers is reversed, that's still something that's out of balance here, okay? And um, you, you or this person, uh, you know, fit the story how you will. This is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Wanted to lay this heavy burden down. You didn't want to even deal with this anymore. Like I said, this was just too... This is also my card for work, just like the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles right here in reverse, right next to it, okay? Too much work. To deal with this person to deal with this situation it was just heavy on you heavy on your mind heavy on your body it just wasn't conducive to your growth i'll just put it like that with the uh, nine of cups here being next to it it's like you need to defend your happiness and go for what you know she's sitting in a defensive pose she's got arms crossed and legs crossed you don't want anybody coming anywhere and she's sitting on a stone slab you don't want anybody coming near any of your wish fulfillment okay because look at here star in reverse this person's not getting any wishes fulfilled star upright is you know ultimate wishes being granted and this and that this person is not a wish fulfillment for you and and you realize that um there's going to be no justice in this situation no matter how anybody tries to fix it or maybe it's this person who uh realizes that there's going to be no justice in this situation no matter how much they try to fix it no matter how many gifts they give you no matter how much they say this is going to affect the child well it's already affecting the child if this is a not so good situation you know what i mean but um yeah especially with this ten of pentacles right here being in reverse now uh, justice is Libra energy, six of pentacles is Taurus, ten of pentacles is Virgo, then we have the three of wands, Aries, the star, which is Aquarius energy, the eight of pentacles, Virgo, the ten of wands, Sagittarius, and the nine of cups is Pisces energy, okay? So there could be, uh, I'm seeing uh, earth, water, pretty much all the signs out here but mostly earth obviously because this is an earth sign reading but we have three of wands here which is aries energy and that's in reverse all right so it's like this person or you you know it, fit it how you will um doesn't want to move forward with this not waiting not waiting on somebody you know any longer here with the three of wands the three of wands is about waiting on somebody to take action maybe you were waiting on somebody to take action toward you with the lovers maybe you were waiting on somebody to um start learning um uh, you know about their spiritual track path and getting on track here and going down the right path here and no longer you're waiting no longer here with the three of wands it's like I i'm not on that vibration anymore and that's what this person is going to have to understand all right with community card right here and loving elementals. It's like you want to say it in a loving way, but you know, 
yeah, justice with the Five of Swords. So there could have been some sort of um, jealousy, um, a fight, definitely some sort of word witching going on where someone was talking about somebody and that could have been the unjustifiable act. It could have actually been spells um, for some of you witching. Um, but Five of Swords is a conflict card, okay? It's about instability, okay? It's about someone wanting to make a change from this type of behavior, situation, or people, all right? And that's coming out over justice in reverse. That's unjustifiable ad. Something happened in the wintertime. Could have been around Christmas with the gift card being on top of it. But something happened in the wintertime where um, could have been somebody stole something. In the wintertime, I'm picking that up here for some people. You know, I'm going to take this back reverse because it ain't no love. Ain't no love with this person. This person does not want to, uh, doesn't know how to show love, I feel like. Um, we got the Six of Pentacles being clarified by um, the King of Wands. This person was, uh, could have been out of control, very controlling, that type of deal. Um, this person could have everything to do with trains. I don't know why I'm getting that here and with the child. Um, this also could have been someone who was, for, for a small percentage of you, who was faking going to work and really wasn't going to work. They was going off doing their own thing since the winter time and it's unjustifiable. You thinking this person going to work the whole time here with the Eight of Pentacles, whole time they not. They doing something totally different. Six of Pentacles could indicate, with the Three of Cups next to it, um, could indicate um, paying for sex. Um, for some people here with the three of cups and then the three of wands clarified by the lovers So some of you may have even found out that somebody was paying for sex and that's what this unjustifiable act is Maybe you had some sort of argument that had to do with it for some of you It's just finding out that someone doesn't want to get on track here. They just want to continue to be reckless um, Excuse me they just want to continue to be reckless and do what they want to do and keep you in third party situations. It's like, fuck the family. I'm ready to party. I'm ready to get out there. But this could have very well been um, water sign uh, and, you know, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces and fire sign and earth sign um, in some sort of third party situation that one of you, maybe the earth sign didn't know about. Um, you thought it was, you know, familial, but you came into King of Scrolls mode and you was like, nah, I'm gonna look at the facts here. I'm gonna look at the papers. I'm gonna look at the receipts. I'm gonna see what makes sense. Okay. And you made sense of this situation. Then you started thinking about this person. Like, wait a minute, something ain't right. You see how he's looking like, oh, why is she always on my mind? Like I said, for some of you, it could have been some sort of curse spell, love spell, um, attraction spell, friendship spell, any type of glamour spell that would make you stick around with somebody, that type of deal. Um, that's for a percentage of you. Like I said, the three of wands being clarified by the lovers, all right? You do not want to go down this path with this person. You're not waiting on this person anymore for you. And the lovers is upright over three of wands. You rather go down this healing path on your own, find your own spirituality with the angel over top of here, okay? This is about self-love when it's upright over this three of wands like i can love myself i i can do better by myself not even bad by myself because we all can do bad by ourselves with no guidance with without spirit but it's i can do better by myself all right we got the star in reverse being clarified by the four of wands like i said this person did not i feel like was not interested in having a family um in healing in uh being stable because fours in tarot numerology is about foundations and stability um so this person could have had a rocky foundation growing up um you know, you and this person could have had a rocky foundation or the foundation could, may have broken before in the past and you were trying to build it back up, but it's just, it's not, the path ain't going there, all right? It's just unstable. Uh, um, Four of Wands is also 11-11, uh, twin flame energy. So this person could have just helped facilitate you uh, moving forward and uh, leveling up, you know, spiritually. Um we have the Eight of Pentacles being clarified by the Nine of Swords. So you don't want to work with this person anymore and they are not happy about it, okay? Up at night, stressed out. Um, this could also be about um, the work that they were trying to do on you. Look, this is for that percentage of you who, was having, who found out that you had work done on you and you went ahead and hit them reversals because a lot of y'all is hitting hella reversals over here, I must say that. But um, this could have been you. 
up at night, stressed out, trying to figure out what's going on. Why is my mind so cloudy? Why is this person always on my mind? I don't even like this person. It's because they was hitting you with that work, but it wasn't working because you are strong, okay? <laughs> You're strong here. Um, it may have worked a little bit. It may have slowed you down. may have gotten you up in your head for a little bit. But I feel like you guys are still on the right track. Like I said, he's up in his head a little bit about the direction that he's going. But he ain't stepped away from them stairs yet. He's still about to get on that train, even though he's looking back. So I feel like a lot of you guys may have gotten distracted. That's the word I'm looking for. But it didn't um, work, whatever it is that these people were trying to do, whether it be witching, spells, curses, word witching, just talking shit, trying to slow you down, getting all up in your head, you hearing things, whatever it was. You're intelligent enough to know who did it. Oh, trust me, because me, somebody like me, you know, the high priestess card in the deck is supposed to be Virgo. What else? The the magician, the queen of swords involves Virgo, the knight of pentacles. Virgo is very calculated with their moves. Somebody like me, I don't even need your screen. Now, you can come on my page with a whole fake ass name, interact with me and everything. Look, and I'd still know who the fuck you are. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is sneaky behavior. That could be somebody that's coming in, um, you know, with fake names or... Uh, having shadow accounts and things like that. Look at this, the emperor trying to control shit, trying to be fucking crazy, okay? Cray cray, all right? I know who you is. I know it. Because I don't need your name to feel your energy. Your energy is always going to be the same. You can change your name 50,000 fucking times. Your energy is always going to be the same. You can't hide that. You can't hide your energy. <laughs> you can't hide your... Look, uh-uh, no, don't... No, nah. you can't hide your energy now. You can't hide it. Not that, not that type of energy. You can't do it. All right. So, like I said, this person was trying to hide their energy. They know that they hurt you in the past. Here, look, look at this with the uh, three of pentacles. They know that they had you in three party situations and they went back to the drawing board to try to put you in another one or try to put you under another hex, curse, spell, whatever that is here. Because the ten of wands can also be um, um, a, a spell. Okay. Um, Ten of Wands is being clarified by the Knight of Swords. You fought till the end, the very end. The Knight of Swords is the Knight in Shining Armor. The Knight of Swords is on the front line when it comes to battle, okay? 1707 on the phone when I said that. On the front lines when it comes to battle. It's like you recognize something was wrong. You recognize something was just too much. You recognize some sort of burdenous cycle needed to end, and you did it. You went in for the kill. Like, you sliced and diced that shit all the way apart. That's why I said some of y'all is hitting hella reversals, like, hella reversals. Because we got Nine of Cups here, which, which could also be... Um, um, a spell, you know, you know, that somebody could put in your food or on your food or drink or some things like that being clarified by the Knight of Cups. Like I said, you're defending your happiness. You're defending your fulfillment. This person come and offer you something. Um, like I said, this could have been, um, love spell or a friendship spell or some sort of spell to keep you around. All right. Knight of Cups coming to offer you some sort of emotion could have been literally offering you something to drink with this in it. But either way, you guys didn't drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> y'all didn't drink the Kool-Aid here. Knight of Cups came in to offer it, but y'all did not drink the Kool-Aid, okay? <laughs> What's at the top of the deck? We got the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Tower. What I said? What I said? Oh, with the Seven of Wands. What I said? Queen of Swords, all facts. That's what she dealing, all facts. Queen of Swords is Libra Virgo energy, all right? Tower moment here, powerful realization for um, these third party people or whoever it is that's trying to harm you. Now they're realizing like, oh, shit, she is totally defended and blocked, okay? My little lies and sneaking behavior and spying, because that's what the Page of Swords is too, spying, um, lying. Um, talking shit, just being young and dumb when it comes to words, all right? Childish when it comes to words, that type of deal, wanting to just argue about stupid shit or just bring up dumb stuff or, like I said, lie. It's not. She got her back turned to that. She also has her back turned to that. Like, no, I'm going to defend you by any means necessary. This one's still looking back like, oh, wait, did I come the wrong direction? Because I'm trying to come at her and she's defended and she got that sword in the air tower moment i ain't gonna be able to get to her tower moment i'm not gonna be able to lie to her him you know put it how you will tower moment <laughs> they're not gonna be able to lie to you okay they're not gonna be able to hide they're not gonna be able to sneak they're not gonna be able to 
pull back their energy just to try to stick it to you one more time all right nah y'all are over that okay we got the chariot the ace of cups the two of wands the hermit and the devil and then the Ten of Cups. This person wanted your happiness. They were jealous of your happiness. They wanted your happiness. They either wanted to manipulate you into including them in your happiness by showing you fake love and acting like they was there for you this whole time. Um, you know, or, you know, you um, gained a new opportunity to, to move on fully from this, okay? And you decided to do that. You decided to just take action in this situation and keep it pushing because your happiness, your fulfillment is more important than whatever it is that this person was trying to attach themselves to you for, all right? So um, I'm feeling like getting an Oracle card out here. I don't know why. So let's get one of these. Gratitude spirit for putting that on my heart. Believe in the impossible the blue moon all right so believe in the impossible if you guys <laughs> feel like somebody put a curse a hex or a spell on you believe it because it's not something that happens every blue moon you'd be surprised how many motherfuckers do that shit and if any of y'all have some sort of platform where you're trying to get known or anything like that it's people that's definitely probably out there trying to stop you so believe in the impossible also believe in the impossible with you moving forward for some of you um alone you know what I mean? Without this person. If some of you believe, oh, it's impossible. I, I, this person loves me. Um, you know, no, they're for the streets community. They're for the streets. Judication. They're getting justice here. Okay. And then we have main male and wealthy male behind that. They're trying to act like they're there for you, like they're the main person that's there for you. But really, they're there for this. Okay. They know that abundance by association. Okay. Be bold and make the first move. I feel like some of you have already done that. Remember, these readings are past, present, and near future. So this could be the track that you're on right now. And um, that two of wands that was in the top of the deck there um, could be the direction that you're going here where you're deciding to make some sort of move. But I feel like a lot of you guys were bold. You made the first move. Cardinal moon, that's about, cardinal signs are leaders, okay? That's Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. They're leaders. Um, balance spirituality and practicality. All right. So with the Buddha prepares here, he's preparing to, to balance. All right. It's balance his spirituality. Like, you know, I want to do things that aren't going to hurt me spiritually or stunt my growth spiritually. But I also want to be practical and defend myself. Like there are some things that you're going to have to do to defend yourself. There are some things that you're going to have to do to move forward on your journey. All right. And at the bottom, we have take time out to breathe. All right. You good. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Breathe in the loving elementals. All right, look, she's got her fairies right there next to her. Water fairies, fire fairies, whatever it is. Children are happy energy. They're young energy. It's fresh energy. It's new energy, okay? So, um, you know, take time to breathe that in, okay? And breathe out anything negative or anything old, all right? So if nobody has told you today, I'm going to tell you, Earth Signs. I love you. Peace.